Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. You know, we should add, too, this is Lackland Air Force Base that has at least 2,000 illegal alien children from Latin America there. And New York Times admits they're moving them all over the country to cover it up. Even the New York Times admits that. And it's all because they do catch and release. I mean, of course, everybody's going to pour in. When if you get here now, you're legal and you get welfare immediately. You can sit on your butt for the rest of your life as long as you vote to take my guns. Yeah, one of the things I noticed when we got to Lackland Air Force Base was the heightened security. You know, usually, well, for the Air Force, they have what's called security forces versus MPs. But these guys were strapping M4s over the chest. You know, that's usually you've got like a nine or something like that, a beret on the side. These guys, heightened security, M4s around the chest, ready to go, you know, coming through. I thought that was kind of odd. Is that because they were guarding gods? <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 they're guarding America's new dreamers, apparently. <laughs> Other observations? Um, well, we had, it took a little bit to find it. We stopped and talked to a few airmen, some contract workers, and found our way over there to the area. And uh, as we pulled in, it's actually right on the edge of one of the, uh, the gates you go through. And on the other side, there was a hotel. We actually went up on that hotel and got some of that inside footage in, looking in. But they have these uh, fences up all around it. They've got contracted people there taking out trash. They're buying really nice water, too. It was a nice brand of water. Not the cheap, you know, 50-cent bottles. It's probably more of, you know, your $3 a bottle water. But the military sat there for four days under orders at Katrina and didn't give water to people. No, they were ordered to not give it out. That came out in the news. But the illegals, they, they get everything. Oh, they get everything. I mean, they're, they're, they're probably eating lobster tails right now, you know? I mean, they, they were out there singing songs, playing soccer. I mean, having a better time than I have. <laughs> I mean, I, it's just a, it's a misappropriation of funds. We're spending all this money, and it shouldn't be going to them. I mean, we've got people, we've got problems right here in America we can't even fix, and we're dumping all this money into that. Well, the, these are the future voters. I, I just don't get it. We got 529,000. Can you imagine Mexico saying, get here, Americans, and you're legal, and we'll pay for everything? <laughs> I can't imagine that at all. You know, right now we got 529,000 to 840,000 veterans homeless right now on a given day without a place to stay, without anything at all, and no one does anything for them. Nothing at all. Homeland Security says veterans are the number one terror threat. They're the enemy. You don't give the enemy any help. Yeah, I, it's, I just don't know what our government's coming to nowadays. It's, it's, you know, like I said, when I, when I joined, I, I joined with a pure thought that I was going to be serving my country, you know, and that I was going to get my college paid for and have these benefits when I got out, you know, and then you get out and you realize it's just a big scam. You know, we're, we're dumping all this money and it looks like a, a FEMA camp proving ground. <laughs> well, that's the angle nobody's looked at yet. They had a plan to legitimize FEMA camps. And they said, we'll use a wave of immigrants from Latin America as the pretext to roll out these bases. And then during an economic collapse, they'll already be there and the idea will be sold. So see how we're kind of saying, hey, our vets need help like this. That's actually kind of the plan. Oh, you will get the help now. I mean, Fort AP Hill's got that, uh, you know, uh, military base that's trained to fight people here. And then you got these camps. I mean, it's all coming together full circle. I've got the article here in my stack. Let me see if I can find it where the New York Times admits today that they're flying the illegals in all over the country. Here's Joe Biden. U.S. needs consistent, unrelenting stream of immigrants. Yeah, but not ones with leprosy or that have no job or bankrupt. Homeland Security Chief Jay Johnson admits for need for border reform, which means more open borders. Border sheriff likens influx of illegal immigrants to Hurricane Katrina. And then here in one of my articles, I'm going to find it in just a second. They literally has the New York Times admitting there's a cover up of how many are here and where they're going and that the media is not allowed to go into it. And meanwhile, I have this article out of Reuters and also RT's reporting it. Obama cites Australian gun confiscation program as example for U.S. I mean, that that should be heart attack level announcement. He's saying I may use an executive order outside of law. He's already doing this with the illegals. We're going to have more on the nightly news tonight, more of the HD footage up on InfoWars.com. Good job.
chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Waging war on corruption, crashing with the lies and disinformation. Dan Bongino, who I would call a true patriot, uh, Tea Party type candidate, not running from that label. He is just absolutely, you know, 99 to 1 against his opponent uh, and uh, is, uh, you know, barring uh, any plane crashes or whatever. And believe me, Obama doesn't like him, so that's a serious issue. Dan Bongino is probably going to end up being in Congress. And it's because he doesn't run from liberty and he doesn't sit there and mince his words that he's so popular. And, of course, he was the top Secret Service agent on the foreign details and was a rising star in the whole operation, but had to resign because he could not be part, he's told the story many times, so I'm just recapping it. He can put it in his own words if he wants to. He would not compromise. And he said he was hearing things and seeing things, working for Obama, that were so immoral and so bad and so anti-American that he couldn't sleep at night. Since he left a few years ago, he's been broken into his office, you name it. His car has been messed with. He's been harassed. He's been threatened. Uh, they might arrest him like Dinesh D'Souza. Uh, they might arrest him like the governor, you know, former governor of Virginia. I mean, folks, this isn't a game, okay? You got a crooked toenail, they're going to arrest you. And, and, and I'm not going off in that angle here, uh, you know, to try to be melodramatic. This is happening, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not going to get into the stuff that goes on around here, but I mean, it's Creepville, okay? Feds going and talking to people that know me, family, you name it, trying to intimidate them, trying to freak them out. Obama is doing things that have never been done. I mean, it makes Nixon, who did, you know, had a list of 100 people, 
just a list of their income tax, and he had to step down finally because of that. We're talking about auditing and harassing the Tea Party, pro-life groups. I mean, this is a criminal takeover. And, and we've got Dan Bongino to the bottom of the hour running for Congress, and he needs more support because the electronic voting machines, you name it. I've talked to all the electronic voting machine experts, like Bev Harris and others, who's got the HBO special, Hacking Democracy. And she said, it's landslides that the vote fraud people can't beat. So Bongino should win with 90% because the backlash is so big. He'll probably win with 60%. So we've got to have like 50 points on the board just to win the football game. We've got to have 50 extra points because they're going to cheat so much. You understand? It's an uphill battle, but we can win it. Sometimes it's easier to win an uphill battle than a downhill battle. That's what makes us stronger, as Nietzsche said. So I wanted to cover the waterfront with him and, and and as a former federal law enforcement officer what does he make of telling illegals we're going to release you even aggravated felons child rapists bank robbers you name it 60 something thousand in the last two months cutting almost all the deportations red carpeting to hundreds of thousands of illegal kids thousands per military base the border has imploded the head of the border patrol union came out again today it's on infowars.com and said this is designed to implode the border well of course it does it isn't a humanitarian crisis, it is a takeover. And I want to see uh, what uh, Dan Bongino, with his highly informed former New York cop as well, former became a Secret Service agent, what he sees from his perspective of what this is, because saying our military's under NATO, uh, funding Al-Qaeda to attack Syria, now they're taking over Iraq with the weapons, that's on record. Uh, uh, fast and furious, not getting in trouble for that. I mean, I'm living in a twilight zone here. What is happening, Dan? Yeah, Alex, it's, uh, you know, as I said uh, in a previous interview I had done, it is, I think it's worse than people uh, really know. Now, I, your audience is pretty informed. I, you know, I knock on a lot of doors, and uh, especially out in Western Maryland, you have a big support base out there. A lot of folks know me uh, from your show out there. But, uh, you know, not many are. There are a lot of other folks out there that really don't understand the level of lawlessness going on, it is absolutely unprecedented. I mean, we have liberal Jonathan Turley, a liberal professor who absolutely supports liberal priorities and legislation saying, you know, this is the president that uh, Nixon always wanted to be. You know, it, it's like there's so many leaks in the House, you're running out of fingers to plug the leaks with, and no one knows where to start. It's so bad, Alex, that the two liberal senators here in, in, in Democratic, very blue Maryland, very liberal senators, Mikulski and Cardin, they just had a statement, one of them I think was Cardin put out, where the citizens of Baltimore City, pretty liberal city by anyone's standards, came out and said, no, we can't take these uh, the illegals here. They're trying to put them up in an empty building in Baltimore City, and they're saying, we can't even take care of our own city. This isn't some kind of a hotel over here, folks. We have to clean up our own neighborhoods first, take care of our own problems. I mean, that's how out of control it is. They're even losing, not just Democrats, they're even losing liberals. I mean, if that doesn't speak to a level of unprecedented intentional legislative chaos, then I don't know what else does. So we're in a dangerous time. And you're right, I'm glad you said that this isn't melodrama, because people all oh, don't be melodramatic. No, no, be melodramatic, folks. I'm telling you, I, I saw a lot of this stuff on the inside, the wheeling and dealing, and both of these parties selling, you know, one party selling you out the big business, the other one selling you out the big government. I, you know, who, who, it's, it's like a horse trade, you know? Who, who can, who's going to cut us the bigger check when we vote this way? I mean, it is really time to get out there at, the, at these voting booths and vote for liberty candidates who, who walk the walk, and everybody talks the talk, but who actually get out there and walk the walk. What does it say, though, to the establishment that everyone's running away from Obama, but at the same time, he's doing everything he wants, acting as a dictator, as many constitutional lawyers have said. I'm not saying, again, he's going to stay in office and that he will be a de facto dictator forever. I'm saying the bureaucracy, the Democratic Party, is acting in a dictatorial, lawless way, whether it's, I mean, they admit it, violated dozens of federal laws to just release prisoners without the 30-day uh, hearings uh, with Congress. I mean, they're just doing whatever they want yeah. on every front, and the precedent's being set. What do you think the battle plan is with Obama? Because I've got to say this, he's much worse than I thought he would be. Yeah. And for the first time in my life, uh, Mr. Bongino, I'm beyond scared. I am more shell-shocked right now that this is so over the top. I mean, I guess it's like finding out your neighbor's got 30 dead bodies in their backyard. It's just... 
it's it, a normal person